Hi everyone, welcome to my video series on identifying outliers in datasets. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use stem and leaf and bus plot respectively to identify outliers in datasets using XPSX. Outliers are unwanted observations in a dataset whose presence can be problematic because it can affect the results of your analysis. Their presence in datasets can be due to many factors and their positions are usually at a distance from the normal data streams. And because of this, it becomes mandatory that outliers must be identified and eliminated from your dataset before you can proceed to perform any parametric test. My name is Tchokan and this is Tchokan Math Solutions, a YouTube channel for improving the knowledge of how to do things. Please let's encourage education and learning by subscribing to this channel and thanks for doing so. Now let's continue with this data set I used in my previous video on outlier. This data is already loaded into XPSS and it consists of only one dependent continuous variable, length. If you don't know how to load data into XPSS, please use the link I gave in the description section below to see my videos on introduction to XPSS for beginners to learn how to load data into XPSS. Now, let's proceed to identify outliers in our data. Go to the menu bar and click Analyze. From the drop-down sub-menu, put your cursor on Descriptive Statistics. And from the drop down options, click Explore to open the Explore dialog box. So click on the dependent variable length and click the transfer arrow key to move it to the dependent list box on the right. Click on the statistics button and from the statistics dialog box that opens, uncheck the box for descriptives because we don't need the descriptive statistics information for now. Then check the box for outliers. This selection will produce a bus plot which will give a direct information of whether there is outliers or not in your dataset. Then click continue to close this dialog box. Now click on the button for plot and in the plot dialog box that opens, the box for stem and leaf is already checked by default and it's Suits the boss I intended to check, so I will just leave it checked. This stem and leaf selection will produce the stem and leaf plot, which will be used to easily identify outliers. For the intended boss plot, if your data has only one dependent scape variable and one independent variable with two or more levels, groups, or factors, then the default radio button selected for factor levels together will just be fine and the bus plot will be plotted for each group in one graph sheet. But if your data consists of two or more dependent scale variables only, you will need to select the radio button for dependent together and this will produce the bus plot for each dependent variable in one graph sheet. But since our data is just one variable, SPSS will consider it fit for any selection between factor levels together and dependent together. But since our data is a dependent scale variable, I will rather select the radio button for dependent together. This does not actually make any difference in any case. Then click continue to close this dialog box. Now, come down to the display panel and select the radio button for plots and this will gray out the statistics button, meaning only the plot for stem and leaf and the bus plot will be produced. Finally, click OK and the requested plots are produced in the output window as you can see. In the output window, three results are produced. That is, the case processing summary table, which is produced by default, the stem and leaf plot, and the bus plot. From the case processing summary table, we can now see that the size of our data is 23, and there is no missing data. In the stem and leaf plot, if there are outliers in your data set, extremes as a word will be included at the top and bottom of the stem column. 
the number of outliers available is indicated in the frequency column. The outliers information is carried in the brackets under the leaf column. But if there are no outliers in your dataset, there would be no extremes at the top and bottom of the stem, and other information as described will also not be available. However, in this stem and leaf plot, there are extremes included at the top and bottom of the stem column, which is an indication that there are outliers. And by virtue of the frequency column, there is only one outlier at the top extremes and two outliers at the bottom extremes. So to identify the outliers, your job here is to only look at the information inside the bracket of the extremes under the leaf column. Here, the information in the bracket of the extremes at the top states that the outlier is the data value equal to or less than 3 and the information in the bracket of the extremes at the bottom states that the outlier is the data value that is greater than or equal to 69. That means the outliers identified by the extremes at the top are data values that are exactly 3 and all the data values that are less than 3. Why the outliers identified by the extremes at the bottom are all the data values that are greater than 69 and the data value that are exactly 69. And if you return to the raw data, like I have done, and take inspection of the raw data, you will see that there is no data value that is exactly 3 or 69 in this data set. But certainly, there are data values that are less than 3 or greater than 69. And these extreme data values correspond to 2.97, 69.01 and 69.79, which are data values that are less than 30 and data values that are greater than 69 respectively. These were the same outliers identified in my previous video where I used Tukishinji's approach to identify the outliers using this same data set. If you wish to see the video, please use the link given in the description section below. Now, let's look at the bus plot. Typically, a bus plot consists of whiskers above and below the box. These whiskers mark the extremes for maximum and minimum data observed point in the dataset. So, any data value outside the whiskers is referred to as outliers, designated by a cycle or asterisk. A cycle means low outliers, while asterisk means extreme outliers. So, if there are no cycles or asterisks beyond the whiskers, this is an indication that no outliers are present in the data. But as you can see on this bus plot, there is a cycle and two asterisks. This is an indication that three outliers are present in this data set. Here, there is a low and extreme outliers. The low outliers is at observed point 15, while the extreme outliers are located at observed point 8 and 22 respectively. If you return to the raw data, the observed point 8, 15, and 22 truly correspond to 69.01, 2.97, and 69.79 which were the same outliers identified earlier in this video using the stem and leaf plot approach. These outliers were also the same identified by the Tukishinji's approach in my previous video using the same data sets. Generally, it is therefore obvious that you can identify outliers in your data set in different statistical procedures as demonstrated in this video. The choice of suitable approach is entirely at your prerogative since the different approaches are reliable. However, to quickly inform you of how problematic outliers can be in dataset, you can see how their presence in this data have affected the bus plot in shape. The same way it has affected the entire results, such as the descriptive statistics and the parametric test. So you must identify the outliers in your data and do something about them. There are many ways to handle outliers in datasets. 
one of the most common methods is to delete the outliers permanently, especially on the condition that they are imputed by error and are not supposed to originally be part of the data. So let's assume that the three outliers we just identified in this lesson were entered into the data by error. So I will proceed and delete them. To do so, hold down the control key and click on the row containing the outliers to highlight them like this. Then right click on the, any of the highlighted row and from the options that pops up, click clear to delete the outliers permanently. Now your data is clean and free of outliers. To be sure there is no outliers again, you can quickly rerun the entire process. As you can see from the rerun results in the output window, the size of our new data is now 20 and there is no missing data. For the stem and leaf plot, there is no extremes available at either the top or bottom, which is an indication that there is no outliers again. And in the bus plot, there is no cycle or asterisk at any observed point below or above the whiskers. This is also an indication that there is no outliers in this data again. So the data is now clean and free of outliers. You can now proceed to receive the data as a new data set. Interestingly, we have come to the end of this video and I am sure you can now identify outliers in your data by yourself using the stem and leave approach or the bus plot approach as demonstrated in this video. If you like this video and you want to see more video content like this, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we begin to send you notification every time I publish new and useful content. Subscription is free. Thanks for your time and subscription and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.